So here's the final uh, cut. You can see that we surged around the edge. We had to uh, um, we nicked the the edge on the on the sides uh, while it's surging. So we took out the bar tack um, on the both both ends and just rounded it off. And uh, I think if you if we did the surge before we bar tacked it, uh, it would work better. Um, but it looks good, and I'm probably I'm probably gonna get another one and and make another poncho. And uh, if I do, I'll, I'll show you the end result of that. Um, but I'll put it on real quick and uh, show you. Poncho, you can see. For me, it's really it's 62 inches wide, so it's real wide. And uh, like 40 inches on each side. What uh, you can also do, if it's too long for you, you can fold it back here and maybe put some uh, snaps right there, right here, uh, so that you can have more arm length. I think I'm just going to leave it like, as is. Also on the back, you can tie a, a little piece of string or webbing or something on both sides so that you can pull it around and tie it so that it's all it, it doesn't like flow in the wind or something. Or you can do underneath so that only the back side is, is closed in. Um, a lot of different things you can do. But it's real warm, especially the, the wool blanket ones. If you get a thinner material, you can do it for like a maybe a summer or spring uh, type thing. This is good for the winter. Um, but, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Looks real good, fits well, and it's really warm. So, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, keep your knives sharp. Your mind sharper. I'm Nick Wood, too. Thanks for watching, guys.